hey guys if you're in i when i'm talking about e3 now remember how i made a video saying that e3 may go digital this year it basically just meant they wouldn't do any like show floor and whatnot it basically just be in my mind at least the presentations basically well apparently it's official that they're not doing that anymore now this was announced like last week somehow i missed it i, I don't know i just missed the news but so basically it seems like the esa will instead be trying to work with exhibitors to promote like individual showcases now i don't know exactly what that means but maybe the esa will just be working with like maybe probably the lesser known people because let's face it the bigger known people don't need the esa to work with them to do their own digital presentation nintendo can do that microsoft sony ubisoft a lot of these people can do their own digital presentation so i'm guessing esa means they're gonna be working with like the smaller people because to me there is no reason why the bigger companies would still go with the esa if they're not even doing a digital e3 so it kind of sucks that means that there'll be absolutely no e3 this year not even in digital form and what also kind of sucks is that with no digital e3 it will i believe make companies question the need for e3 what i mean is this let's just say that in june when the time for e3 does come right microsoft nintendo sony all them actually do like their own whatever digital presentation and it actually is dead successful it it, it sh shows a lot of stuff a lot of people watch it all of a sudden, Microsoft and Nintendo, because Sony's already basically out of it, may be like, hey, I wonder if we really do need to be do going to E3 each year and having a show floor, or in Nintendo's case, a treehouse. I wonder if we could just do our own thing every year. And one thing may lead to another, and all of a sudden, no E3 whatsoever. And that would suck, because I really like E3. Even though, as I said before, the main things to me are the conferences, it is still enjoyable, I believe, for people there especially, to actually see the show floor, try out the demos and whatnot i think that we'll be losing something if we don't have an e3 at all because everything will just be digital and then there'll be no like show floor that we know like trying out the demos at least in physical form and i just think that e3 still has a place even though e3 has been getting less and less relevant i believe year after year but what do you guys think about absolutely no e3 in any form this year let me know in the comments below thanks for watching like subscribe make god bless you all